Hi, this is Debbie from We All Send Cards and today I'm going to show you how you can take one of our artist design cards, personalise it on the front and on the inside and send it directly to your friend. And I'm going to show you with a birthday card for my friend Dottie. And Dottie likes butterflies, so I'm going to look for a card with a butterfly on it. So I'm coming over to this keywords area here and I'm going to type in the word butterfly and press go and this will show you all of the cards that we have with butterflies on them so I'm going to look through here and there's the card that I really want to do now it's not giving me the chance to buy this card because I'm not logged in at the moment if you don't have an account with us you need to register for an account if you do then you can go straight to the login screen so I'm going to the login screen and I'm going to log into my account here And then I come back to the butterflies page, scroll down to the card I want, and now I've got the possibility to add it to my basket. So I add the card to the basket. And then I go up to the cart and press personalize. So I've got three areas where I can personalize the front of the card, the inside left of the card, and the inside right of the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my friend's name on the front. I'm going to put some images on the inside left and I'm going to put some text on the inside right. Now you can put text and images wherever you want. Um, not every card allows you to put images on the front, but some of them do. And in, on the inside, you can put text and images as much as you want, wherever you want. But I'm going to do it just simply just to show you a little bit of what you can do. So first of all, I'm going to edit the front. So the front of the card comes up in large on the screen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of here and I'm going to ask it to put the bleed lines on. Now this is a border which might possibly get cut off when the card is printed. So it's a good idea to have it there if you're putting text up so that you can see you really mustn't let your text go past the edge of those lines. So I put that there and now I'm going to add some text. When you click on the add text, it appears in the top left hand corner, so you can move it to where you want. And then you go over to the right hand side and edit it to what you want. So I shall start with happy birthday. And then I'm going to change the font of that. I don't like that one. Which one do I like? I like indie flower. I'm going to make it bigger. Pull it back towards the centre again and I'm going to change the colour of it to a similar colour to the butterfly, like a blue purple colour, like that. That's that. So I'm happy with that piece of text. And then I'm going to add another piece of text, which is I'm going to drag it down to the where I want it, and that's my friend's name, which is Dotty. And then I'm going to pull that to where I want it, and then to make it bigger, I'm going to make it different font, but I want it the same colour as the text above. Now the last time I just selected a colour, this time I want it to be the same. So I click on the colour, put a space next to it, and press return. And that will be, so then the two different font things are the same colour. I'm going to make Dotty just a little bit bigger like that. There we go. I look at that. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I press done for that piece of text and then save and exit for the whole front colour. And that goes, so that's what the front of my card is going to look like. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go to the inside left. Once again, I'm going to put the bleed lines up just for my own um, well being. And this time I'm going to add an image asks you to choose a file. I'm going to start with a background image and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that you can see a little bit more of the decorative pattern. There we go. And I'm going to add another image on top of that which is a picture of me because I haven't seen my friend Dottie for a while so she might like a picture of me. Well that's come sideways. Well First of all, I'm going to make it smaller, 
and then I'm going to rotate it a little bit and there we go. Now it has gone towards the edge of the bleed line but I don't really mind. I'm quite happy with the way that looks. So I'm going to press done with that and I'm going to press save and exit for my left hand side. Actually saving at the moment. There we go. So that's my front, my inside left and my inside right now. Now again, I'm going to start with an image here. I'm going to put some snowdrops at the bottom of the page. Bleed line on again. That's it. Sit that right down at the bottom of the page like that. Because Dottie's very fond of snowdrops. So there we go. And then I'm going to add another bit of text, which is another happy birthday because. I like the card that is quite traditional, as if you bought it in a shop, that it's got a happy birthday in it. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, happy with that one. Now I'm going to add some text again. This time I'm going to do it in a handwriting font which is called Reamy Beamy. And I'm going to put two dotty. Great day. That might just hide like that. And I'm going to turn that into a blue colour as if I wrote it with pen, that's a bit too purple. There we go, like that. Finally, I'm going to put another one, bring it down, and I'm going to say, oops, love, um, maybe, and I'm going to do that one also in the Medini, and I'm going to do it also in the same colour. So that's saving now. It takes a little bit of time to get all of the elements together. Now I get the chance to look at the full card. So I've got the front, the inside left, and the inside right. Now I'm completely happy with that. So I go back to basket. And this is where we get the possibilities to send it. Now I'm going to send this directly to Dottie, but I'm not going to change the address while well. you can watch it because at the end of the day Dottie's address is private. I'm going to send it the day before her birthday. Again, I'm not going to tell you when that is, but I'm going to set it, the date, to go the day before her birthday. And I don't need an extra envelope for that. I want it to go directly to her. She doesn't want to get it as a cellophane wrapped card. So there it is, £2.69, 65p delivery, grand total of £3.34. That is a really lovely personalised birthday card, which is going to go directly to Dottie. Now you can order it today. If you order it before one o'clock, it will be posted today and Dottie could actually receive that card tomorrow. Or you can choose which day it goes. That's completely up to you. If you order it after one o'clock, it will go the next business day. So there's a lovely birthday card for Dottie, completely personalised. Thank you very much.